If you're it's Emily Fox. Today's video is going to be the beginning of a new series all about book covers because I have thoughts and I thought it would be fun to discuss it. Let me know in the comment section if you have any specific video you would like to see and I might add it to the list. But today I'm doing some of my favorite books that have the ugliest covers and I'm planning on doing uh, next the opposite. So basically books that have great covers but the book not so great. So Let's get to it because it's a long one. I have pretty much ransacked my shelves to do this video. So uh, first off, we have Bernie Sandy. Literally everything I have by him. Mistborn, mm, no. Uh, we have Elantris. I guess it's kind of okay if you like that style. Uh, this is the, the number one ugliest book by him. What is this? Excellent book, love it. Recommend it all the time to everyone but would have never picked this up if it had been written by him, ever. The Reckoner series, they're all ugly, literally all ugly. The only thing I have to say positive is that the last one, at least there's purple in there, so it's pretty. <laughs> uh, but this is probably the best example that the UK edition is so much better than the US one. So the Ritmanist, look at the UK edition. So much better. Uh, this wasn't my favorite by him, but I just need to mention it because again, the UK edition, so much better. I think the least offending covers are part of the Stormlight Archive series. So this is the first one. That one is okay. Um, I don't hate it, but everything else by him, so ugly, so ugly. Frankly, I got the idea of doing this video because I have been reading a bunch of Octavia E. Butler and I love her work. If you like sci-fi, you need to try her stuff. And every edition that I own is ugly, <laughs> like supremely ugly. I'm gonna show quickly the ones that I also haven't read because they're so bad. Let me actually start by those quickly. Nobody wants to read this. I can literally see you moving forward whenever I show these books on the screen uh, in my stats. So I know, they're ugly, I know. Uh, those are the ones I have read, Kindred. I believe there are other editions and some of them are better. I don't know for this specific book, but I know that for this series, the Little Brood or the Xenogenesis series, this one, in 2019, I believe, they came out with new covers, which are so much better. Um, but who wants to read this? None of you does whenever I talk about it. I need to put the other one on the screen, otherwise people just don't want to listen. Like, when I show this in person to people, they're like, eh, you know, they try to not hurt my feelings, but like, these are so good. So, so good. They deserve better covers. This one isn't the worst when you actually look at it from up close. But like, it's a tough sell when I quickly show this on YouTube. People are like, mm, doesn't seem appealing. But this is The Laugh of Evan by Ursula K. Le Guin. And it's uh, a really short book that follows a man who starts dreaming and his dreams are affecting reality. And like, he goes to, is it a psychiatrist? Yes, a psychiatrist who try to like use that to change the world. Super fun book, super interesting, but the cover just doesn't sell it to me. And it's not the worst edition that I've seen. I've been joking for years that The Humans by Matt Hegg, the cover is ugly. My edition, it's just a nose. <laughs> which kind of makes sense with the book, but still there is this edition with a dog, which I think is better, but it's still not great. I feel like this book deserves a better cover. I believe there's a pink one that exists, which I think looks more fun. But still, I feel like this is such a fun book, such a good book that it deserves a better cover. Like, it doesn't make you think that you're gonna follow an alien learning how to be a human. No. And I have also mentioned the Midnight Library by him. This is the US edition, and I went ahead and got the UK one because I think it's prettier. Is it the prettiest book alive? No, I still think that the book deserves a better cover than this, but I really enjoyed the book. I do think it's worth the read, the hype, but its covers are just... So ugly, and all of them, like How to Stop Time, I didn't care for that book, but like that cover is super ugly too. Like, no. Super popular book, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. What is this? So many like mystery thrillers have ugly covers. Like I was looking at my shelves, I can put more on the screen, but I haven't really cared for these, so like I didn't really want to mention them, but this one, I really like this book. But like, except for the fact that it's like yellow and bright, there's nothing quite fun about it. I do know that the third book, the edition that I have, do I have it? Where it's right here. I think this is the best one because it's super reflective, but that's it. So yes, I don't know why. I feel like the mystery trailers that I like have really ugly covers and the ones that I don't like have really pretty covers, which we'll talk about. Justice for N.K. Jemisin, please. What is this? Uh, this is the fifth season trilogy. I think they're ugly. Um, they could be worse. I, I, 
at least don't have like a, just a person on the cover. So common with fantasy. This is fantasy sci-fi, but still kind of boring looking. The second one, at least a little bit more fun, I guess. And the third one, at least the colors are somewhat pretty, but like they don't tell you much about how good this is. This is really, really fantastic. If you want like female rage, this is great. Um, love the series, don't care for the covers at all. Again, there's not a person on it, which I tend to not get those editions whenever there's just someone chilling on the cover, but they deserved better. I don't know where my edition is for uh, The Sparrow by Mary Toria Russell. Hopefully I will find it, but this is the edition that I have and there are other ones available, which are, I guess a little bit better, but not really. I think this cover again, does not tell you at all that it's a sci-fi first contact with aliens, but it's very character driven, which is different from everything else. Plus it's like they send a ship to a different planet and it's uh, organized by, by a religious organization. So it's like a really different concept and it's interesting and it just, you can't tell. You just can't tell by this cover. This one might hurt some people's feelings, but The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I don't care for that cover. I don't even care for the other edition. Um, I feel like, yes, the green dress, fine. But otherwise, I think it's pretty common with like romance I guess, books. But I did mention, I don't like people in my covers. There's a person on it. It's not the worst one, but it's not my favorite. One that I needed to include is Black Sun because what is that cover? It's a really strange book, but when you look at this cover, I feel like you think sci-fi, right? I feel like it looks kind of sci-fi, but it's fantasy. And other people flying on the backs of giant crows, which again, I, I'm not getting those vibes with that cover at all, but um, it, it's a good book. It's an interesting one, but the cover just doesn't do it justice. I have a squirrel staring at me through the window. It needs to be fed. <sighs> a girl can't work in peace here. So I was talking about my hate of people on the cover and my hate also of mystery thriller covers. Um, Night Swim, it's like a mix of both. I like yellow. I try to be more happy today because it's raining, but um, what is this? Why do they always have ugly covers? It's a good book. If you like podcasts, like crime podcasts, I would highly recommend this one, but this is doing nothing for me. Anything and everything written by Gillian Flynn. Her books are amazing. Morally great female characters, complex ones, just really fun books. Well, <laughs> dark, fun books, but her covers are so boring. It's giving absolutely nothing, like nothing at all. I wanted to include uh, A Little Life, which might be, I don't know. Once you know what the cover is, what it means, it's not as, it's not as good. <laughs> so I, I don't care again for people in my covers. And then when you hear what's going on, eh, so needed to give it a little shout out. The Invisible Life of Ed Rue, which I know there are like two different edition, UK, US. I hate both of them. There, I said it. Again, it just tells you nothing about the book. I personally really enjoyed it. It's very character driven. It's a topic that I, like a trope that I really enjoy, someone living a really long time, but it's so boring. Also, I feel like very often nonfiction have really terrible covers. Uh, we have A Taste for Poison that I read last month. I really enjoyed this, but it's so boring. But it's a fun nonfiction. Like it's so easy to read. And I want to recommend it to a ton of people, but that cover is gonna be a tough sell. <laughs> but I do recommend it if you want to read about like different uses for uh, poison, how they've been used for like specific murders. It's fun, <laughs> but like, this is boring. I kind of have a love-hate relationship with that one, but the uh, un uh, uninhibitable earth, it's just a little bee, dead I'm assuming, but it's kind of boring still. Like I get what they were going for, but I feel like it's, it's about climate change and it's a kind of positive one. Like obviously the data is pretty dark, but the author is really optimistic. So if you are feeling the you know, climate doom that we're seeing a lot, I feel on social media, don't be fool. Read that book, try to have a more positive outlook. We can change it, that's his opinion. So I would recommend the book, but that cover is just boring. Oh, also anything and everything written by Michael Crichton. I don't know if it's the editions that I have, they're all boring. These are the editions that I have. I have tried to look if he had better ones. And I think because it's an older author, you know, like these were published a couple years ago, they haven't been redone, <laughs> republished, and they're just boring to me. I, I don't feel like it makes me want to read like really interesting sci-fi. It's just, so now I wanna know, what about you? What books do you think are really great books, but have the worst covers ever? 
especially if they have people on them. I feel like I don't have that many on my shelves because I will go out of my way to find a different edition if I can. But I would love to know about yours. Do you go out of your way to get like the UK editions when the US ones suck? I feel like it's often, whenever there's an edition that's really bad, it's usually the US one, right? I feel like kind of. Uh, I'm thinking even like Skyward by Brendan Sanderson. This is the US edition. I have the UK one, so I couldn't include it in this video. But I think it's ugly. Like why? why? I hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs up, subscribe, because I will be posting the other version. So books that I thought were terrible, but the covers are really pretty, which makes me want to keep them, which is probably horrible, but why not, right? They're pretty, they make me happy to look at, unless they're really, really bad, I guess. But I will be putting more videos on the screen that I recommend you check out, and I will see an upcoming video very soon. Bye. Or love and just like we